What's up everybody? Today's video is brought to you by Vever. Vever is an online storefront. It has tools and furniture and tons of other products. All their products come with free delivery, a 30 day money back guarantee, and a 12 month warranty. So Vever sent us this really cool desk uh, that we're gonna use and put in Reed's room. We've been wanting a desk for him and uh, this product is gonna work great for that. This is actually an electric desk that raises uh, to different heights. Me and Reed just put it together and it came with really good instructions. All the parts were labeled really well, including the packets of screws actually had labels telling you what went where, which was uh, very helpful. Very good and thorough instructions. Um, we put the whole thing together in less than 20 minutes. Um, it's very sturdy, um, and, and what's really cool about it is it raises and it lowers. So you can actually stand at the desk or sit down. And it also has uh, memory buttons here. And those buttons will, uh, you can set that so if you want a certain height when you're sitting down, a certain height when you're standing up, etc. You can preset those buttons for memory. So read through some of his uh, workout weights on here. We got about 60 pounds on there. Is that right? Yeah, about 60 pounds on there. And it's not even budging. All right, guys. Again, we're going to put this in Reed's uh, room. This will probably be a desk that he does his homework on, stuff like that. And we also may be doing some archery stuff on this desk as well when we work on our bows and stuff. Um, we're going to leave a link in the description to this particular desk if you want to buy it. We'll also leave a link to just Vever's main website. Go check them out. Again, they have thousands of tools and other products. Um, free shipping, 30-day return, 12-month warranty. Um, if this product is any indication of what you're going to get with other products, you're not going to be um, disappointed at all. So it's a very sturdy, very good product, very well made, very easy to put together, and uh, we really like it. So y'all go check them out. Link in the description. Also, uh, if there's any coupon codes or anything like that, that will be in the description as, as well. If you go check them out, uh, tell them we sent you. We really appreciate it. Thanks. Tobin here. He's back here trying not to get bit by wasps. He's back there. Oh my gosh, there's a dead rat. Oh. <laughs> Is it a big one? It's in chunks. <laughs> it's in like four different chunks right there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We are coming to you live from deer camp. Uh, going hunting in the morning. Ethan's taking his uh, fire academy classes this week, so he couldn't come with us, and mom didn't want to come. So just me and Reed came out here to do some work on the deer deer lease camper. Y'all don't know what a deer lease is. Uh, we pay for the rights to hunt out here, and uh, this is our camper we stay in, and it is leaves a lot to be desired, but it keeps us dry generally. Keeps us warm, most generally, of most of the time. So, uh, but during uh, Snowmageddon, it wasn't winterized. It's never been winterized, and a lot of the pipes underneath broke. So the bathroom is pretty much unusable, and rather than fixing those, we're just gonna tear the bathroom out so we have more room in the camper, and then we're gonna build an outdoor shower uh, to bring out here the next time we come. So came down here to do this, and then check the feeders and stuff. So. First, we're gonna get doing this before it gets too hot. So it's supposed to get up to 109 or something like that today. So um, but let me show y'all what we're gonna do. This big room right here is basically the bathroom. So we are going to take that out. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes.
All right, y'all. Just like that, we're done. It's so small in here, wasn't much room to video, but we got the uh, got the whole bathroom area ripped out. Probably gonna build a some kind of like little bench right here. Cover that up. Truck is full of everything. Reed's acting like he worked today. Well, look at him at 4 a.m. That's not what I usually do. <laughs> yeah. Going to bed at midnight and get up at 4 is not for the faint of heart. I tried to fall asleep. But uh, it's a little more open here. Like I said, this bathroom was just wasted space. Uh, we're never going to use it. This old camper, I mean, you can tell some of the walls have been replaced. Um, the wallpaper is falling down. There was a big cabinet deal here, and Shannon and I ripped that out uh, when we came during came and stayed a while during COVID just to get away. But uh, yeah, I mean, we had to. This is the AC controller right here. I had to stick it up in the roof. Um, but definitely gonna give more room in here when it's me reading the Easton. It's pretty pretty packed, so this would be a good space for us to you know store our bags and stuff like that. Um, but. I don't know what my end, end plan is with this camper. I don't know. I may just end up trying to sell it real cheap or give it away at some point and upgrade or, you know, I don't know. We may start, you know, keep gutting it out and, uh, you know, and remodel it to some degree. It'll never be like it was, but just good enough where we can stay in here. This is just, for us, this is a, um, it's a place to come when we go deer hunting to get in out of the weather and to stay somewhat dry, somewhat cool, uh, warm or cool. Uh, whichever season it is but uh yeah you know uh i don't I think there's worse things you could do to your kids than having them go deer hunting and stay in a leaky old camper but um they love it i love it so all right y'all we're gonna head over and fill feeders up uh check them and everything so we'll see y'all over there strategy talk to some strategy for uh when bow season gets here and this is <laughs> what's left of some of our older stands it's just a pile of junk we're going to haul it off eventually but me and reed want to see if there's a rattlesnake underneath there so we're gonna see might be a for sure be a black widow and a mouse would die Remember when we carry this all the way across the field yeah Watch out, I'm more worried about you getting bit by a spider than I am. Yeah. If it wasn't so heavy, we might find something. Yeah. Well, that was anticlimactic. We're going to have to get us another blind built for here, but um, this one 
me and the kids built it. I may have told, talked about this on another video, but me and the kids and Shanna built this from scraps when we built my shop uh, after we moved into our house. So we built it about seven or eight years ago and it was pieced together and you know uh, just with scraps and spare wood and whatnot and it uh you know it lasted a pretty good while but then it fell down so we, i want to build something nice that will last a long time uh, but this year you can see the feeders back there uh, behind me uh, i'm probably just gonna put a pop-up blind if you're not familiar it's like a it's like a little blind that just pops out like a tent kind of um probably gonna put one of those right here if we can keep it from blowing away and hunt out of that this year until we have time and stop and build something good so all right so here's the situation so we drive in all along this tree right here back past reed all the way down here is where the road's at and we were driving and we got about right here next to these trees and what happened a giant buck was just running. Just yeah. trying. We jumped a giant deer up right back in there and he ran alongside us for a little while. And Dad was NASCAR and tried to I was, find it. I was trying to keep up with him. He finally he kind of ran beside us for a little bit and then he broke off. But, you know, me and Reed and our whole family, we see a lot of deer come through our, our shop during deer season uh, because of our side business. That thing, so, it was tall though. For us to say, I said, Buck big buck and we took off and for me to say that uh means i mean and for reed to say that it means something like i said we see a lot of deer so um we got here and our cellular game camera is not working and we want to know what's going on with that big buck so we're going to run to childress and grab lunch and grab a new game camera and then come back because we i don't know if i can sleep not, not knowing yeah. like for sure how big it is yeah because i'm sure he's here because the feeder's been going all summer i'm sure he's here because of that i'm sure he'll come back to the feeder in a couple days so i gotta know we gotta know so we're gonna run to town and then we'll be back that didn't work all right we got the new camera got it hung up um we, we were about due for a new one anyway so um i actually told reed i thought about buying one before we even came out here because the one we had here just randomly has quit working a couple times and you put new batteries in it says the batteries are 100 percent, but you change them out put new ones in there and it starts working so um they kind of did something weird earlier when we were messing with it on my phone it finally started working by the time we got uh, to Childress, but I, we just bought a new one just to be safe. So we're getting it set up right now, um, making sure that we got it pointed in the right direction so it can see, you know, deer and pigs and stuff. Uh, pretty sure we heard some pigs earlier squealing across the creek over there. Reed went over and looked around, but I don't know if you can't really tell, but the grass over there is super, super tall. So it's taller than me. Yeah, it's it's tall. So, um, got but we got a. Probably, probably can't see it very well, but in that tree right there, there's a ladder stand there that's going to be about a 20 yard archery shot. And then we're going to put up, we got a, another stand about three or 400 yards that way, like that. And then we're going to put up some pop up blinds as well. 400 yards? Yeah. You don't think it's that far? Uh uh, there's no way. Two, 300 yards? I don't know. I think right. at least two. We're going to look at the, look at my phone and see, make sure this camera's lined up right. All right, y'all. Got my chauffeur driving us out. Doing all the work around here. Uh, new cameras set up and sending pictures. So if y'all are watching this, um, like we promised y'all on the 5M channel, we're 
gonna keep showing y'all some of what we do um, the more specific stuff to outdoors uh, reviews and specific videos we'll be putting on our top pin page so um, a lot of that coming up y'all go check it out if you haven't already link in the description um, we, we know a lot of y'all have already came over there and we appreciate y'all um, we uh, we're heading out now cameras working we're gonna be back here we're going on vacation next week and then we'll be back two weeks after that go over that way just a little bit also trying to like not hit all these trees feel how much smoother it is you're in your in the ruts uh the, I'm also trying to stay out of the ruts and I was in the ruts so the rancher out here has one big rule that he wants everybody to follow and that is not to go driving across the middle of his plowed field or out in it so we try to be very respectful of that and stay right on the edge as much as possible um so we don't have ruts all over the place go that way working on it the truck ain't they ain't it ain't working <laughs> all right we got one spot over here we're gonna go check reed said he actually saw some water still in the creek over here or at least mud uh so we're gonna go over here and check this and see if we see any pig sign we uh we've seen some uh, but not, nothing real fresh. We've seen a lot of trails going to the feeder, but it's really hard to tell if that's deer or pigs. Kind of think it's pigs, but we're gonna go over here, check this spot, and then we're heading home. We are hot, sweaty, and done. tired. And what? And done. Done, yeah. I'm ready to go home, take a shower, and rest. We got up early and got I'm no sleep. Early. Yeah, considering what how little sleep we got, it was early enough. 4 a.m. I about fell asleep earlier that I can't be talking. Watch for snakes. They'll be up in the shade. Seriously, slow down, slow down. Didn't listen to me. Yep. Been up in here. Yep. No water, but yeah, you can definitely see where they've been rooting around in here. That right there. It's super fresh, like the last couple of days. <coughs> that was excessive. It says the one that yells when they sneeze. Yeah, this would be a good, good little place to catch some pigs in here. And get some ARs in here. Also, be a good place to find a rattlesnake. We don't see a lot of rattlesnakes out here, but everybody else does. I guess we're just lucky. Hopefully the new camera will tell us that the pigs are still around. That sign right there tells me they are. It's super fresh. We'll grab. All right, y'all. I think Reed's getting delirious. We, uh, well, y'all, y'all familiar with Sonic? Uh, there's a Sonic in Childress that we went to, and you can actually go inside and eat inside the Sonic, and that's the only one that I I recall ever seeing in my lifetime that you can actually go inside the Sonic. It also has the like the little lanes for the car ops to come out, and it has a drive-through as well. But we went and ate in there. It's pretty good. For Sonic, it was pretty good. Yeah, stood in line for five minutes to get a fork, and there's already I already had a fork in the bag, and didn't see it my fault not paying attention not looking hard enough all right y'all thank y'all for watching we'll uh keep y'all updated on the if any, any animals show up we'll show y'all some pictures but uh, uh we're excited to see what happens it's gonna be reed's first year um archery hunting or, or bow hunting um so we're hoping to get some uh uh you know hunting done here get something shot here and then we're gonna be doing some, doing some public land hunting too so see, we'll show we'll show some of that i was expecting that if you go back on the video i started speeding up <laughs> you were clueless oh i need sleep and, uh, what was i talking about uh, i think something no. about your clothes no no it wasn't that yeah, but we'll, we'll uh, like I said, we'll, we'll be showing a little bit of that on here and a lot on the other channels. So, uh, appreciate y'all support. Uh, thank y'all for um, always commenting, always being positive. We appreciate that. Um, leave us a comment. Let us know uh, what what videos do y'all like to see the most. 
Y'all like seeing us do stuff like this. Y'all like seeing us around the house with the animals. Um, let us know. We appreciate it. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all again.